All right, guys, so we are back again with another tour, checking out the solar hybrid AC unit to see, you know, what's going on with it. And this is running only on solar power right now. As you can see, we have the connections from our solar array. We're gonna go to that shortly. But we also have connection from the grid, from GPS. Now, if you look here, you'll see that this unit, which is 18,000 BTU, it only requires 1390 watts of input power from the solar panel. And this is our Zamba Climate Solar Air Conditioning Unit. I'm gonna link up other brands that you can invest in, but if it's not a Zamba Climate, or if it's not any of the other brands listed below, you don't wanna spend your money on those you want to spend your money on something that's tested and trusted if you remember this setup we did about five months ago here we have six s energy 325 watt solar panels and they're set up in this beautiful design this nice grown mounted setup and we're providing power to that solar hybrid air conditioning unit on that section right now it's a bit overcast but these six panels are delivering the power that the ac unit so guys we're back checking out this hybrid or solar air conditioner that we set up a few months ago maybe about five months now and it's still functioning effectively right now it is on solar power only as you can see switch from the grid is off no on off and it's working effectively on solar panels on so right now it's at 16 degrees celsius if you can see it's at 16 degrees celsius and it's still blowing cool. behind this there's a usb port for diagnostics and you don't need to pull this up you don't need to scrap it down to find out you know what's happening if there's ever a fault all you need to do plug your usb cable to the port plug it to your computer there's a software that will tell you everything tell you how the fan is blowing the power that's coming in from the panels the power that coming in that's coming in from a grid every single information you need to know and that's how you can detect where any problem lies